Today we're gonna take this cake fail and turn it into a cake win. I had a lot of fun making this cake, let's get started. Whoever made this either hates kids, hates hedgehogs, or loves horror movies. All answers are right. So I still don't know if this hedgehog was supposed to be cute and then turned out terrifying, or if this cake was intentionally meant to be kind of nightmarish. Maybe they just wanted a cute pink and brown hedgehog with human teeth. Oh, probably some kind of trauma that this person experienced. Or maybe they just wanted a scary looking hedgehog. A lot of people have tried to remake this cake, but each time somebody does, it looks like they're just trying to make it look scarier than the last. However, I'm not gonna do that. Today, I'm gonna try and use the same techniques and make a cute hedgehog. So we're starting with a 10 inch round cake. And I'm using like this chocolate, dark chocolate fudge marble cake. It looks delicious. I even added a little coffee in the dark chocolate. <gasps> Oh my gosh, it's so tasty. So the first thing we're going to do is cut away the edges, just like that. We got one side, we're gonna carve away the other side. Nice, nice. I'm gonna flatten this out just a little bit. Keep this, um, um I, I wanna save it for later, but my doctor said no. <laughs> so we're gonna toss that, and I'm gonna cut this cake in half. Hopefully that was a straight cut. Oh, that's pretty good. Okay. So I have my cake board. I'm gonna take my top layer and I'm going to flip it upside down. Bam! Spread it out evenly, just like that. So we got that. You're going to add our second slice on top. More buttercream, and then just spread it out. I'm gonna take one side, put it here like this. I'm gonna need a little bit more buttercream here, just so that I can glue it to the other slice. There we go, just shove it on. There we go. Okay, is that good? Looking good, looking good. Look at the hedgehog. It looks like a car. I could totally turn this into a car. So I've got my cake stacked. I'm really happy that I was able to use all of my cake. From here, I'm just going to create a teardrop shape. The top of the teardrop is gonna be the hedgehog's nose, and then the bottom is gonna be the hedgehog's back. So I've cut out the basic shape. I'm gonna start rounding it out. So I'm just carving little by little to round out my shape. Looking pretty good so far. So I'm done with the top. I'm just gonna take all of my cake scraps off and start to do some carving on the bottom. Now I know this cake is ugly, but remember every cake is always made with love. It doesn't really matter how it turns out. The person who made it didn't want to destroy somebody's dreams, even though they probably did. Whenever I see ugly cakes, I always think about that lady who tried to repaint the Jesus painting and she like turned him into like a monkey. You know, she tried to repaint Jesus because she wanted to restore his face. And she didn't want to become an internet meme. It's one of my favorites though. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to slowly carve away the bottom so that we have a nice rounded shape. And then that'll complete our hedgehog's body. Nice! Looking sweet! I probably should have switched to a smaller knife, but <laughs> I totally forgot. So I'm digging the shape. The only thing I have to do now is clean my cake board. I really want to eat all these cake crumbs. It smells so good. Oh, my doctor will yell at me though. And so I don't want to be yelled at again. Your parents got diabetes. You want diabetes? No, I don't. <laughs> so I finished carving my cake, cleaning my cake board, and I kind of just wanted to point some things out to you. You see, the tip of his nose, I actually had the point on the second layer so that I could taper down the bottom and have it off the ground. That way, there's enough room down here for me to give him a nice smile. Not a human smile, like a woodland creature smile. It's got this really nice hump. It's not flat. Now when I add the spikes to this hump, it's gonna look really nice. This is gonna get an MVP cope, then we can start to decorate. So to create the spikes, I don't know what they actually use, but I'm gonna be using Pocky. It matches what's on top of the original hedgehog, and I get to eat the leftover. And you know what, doctor? Who's gonna tell me I'm gonna get diabetes? Suck it! It's so good, I don't know if I can resist. I wanna use the entire stick of Pocky, so I'm gonna cut this at an angle and try to get the middle part of the Pocky as polished as possible so that it looks really nice next to the tips.
Now I feel like the person who made this cake used grocery store food coloring and they didn't know how to mix color. So they just put the red in, it turned pink and that's what they ended up using. I, however, know better. So I'm using a buttercream that has a hint of pink, but also some orange. And this is what I'm gonna cover my entire cake with. Now, the original cake is made of buttercream, so I'm not gonna cover this with fondant. I also wanna keep some of that buttercream texture. All right, so I'm happy with this. I love the face shape, I love all of it. It's looking really good. Going to just carve out almost like a widow's peak so that I can have a guide for what his face is gonna look like. Now, I can start adding all of my spikes. So we're gonna start at the back. I actually cut the ends too long, so I had to cut them a little bit shorter. All I gotta do now is add his facial features and this cake will be done. Voila! My hedgehog cake is complete. It's a pretty simple cake. Just a few fondant pieces. Most of this is icing and just a lot of Pocky. I probably wouldn't make this cake again just because there is so much Pocky left over. This is a cake win, but I'm still not sure if the original is a cake fail. It could be an intentionally ugly cake. I don't know. <laughs> I may not like that cake, but the technique is how I created this cake. So it's not all bad. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. Oh man, I love this marble. So we've got chocolate fudge and then we've got like this dark chocolate coffee. It looks so exotic, I love it. Now there are a ton of cake fails on the internet. So if there's any that you'd like to see me recreate and improve on, let me know in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll see you very soon. Bye. This cake had a ton of problems and I decided to solve one of them, which was add more cake. So I'm starting with a 10 inch round cake. I'm cutting off the edges, leaving me this nice rectangular shape. I'm gonna add buttercream in between my layers and then I'm going to add those slices on top. I'm gonna round it out to give me a nice teardrop shape, which gave me the perfect base for my hedgehog cake. One of the biggest problems I have with this cake is the chewing gum pink buttercream. Now to improve on that, I used pink, I used a little bit of orange and a little bit of yellow to give me this nice beige color, which I used to cover my entire hedgehog cake. Let's improve the spikes on this cake. For my hedgehog cake, I'm using Pocky. A ton of Pocky. And I only use like an inch and a half of the ends. Place them on his back and just work my way to the front. And that gave me some nice hedgehog quills, but also a lot of leftover Pocky. What is this face, man? I feel like this might be intentionally ugly, so I'm gonna make mine intentionally cute. So we've got a nose, two kawaii eyes, I left off the human teeth, and added some little feet. Which one do you like better?